Welcome to another episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, the beer I'm about to try right now is by a brewery called Pipeworks Brewing Company. They're out of Chicago, Illinois. Um, it's actually the glass I have uh, that I've been tasting everything out of is a Pipeworks glass. Um, and one of the great things about Pipeworks on their bottles, well, first I'll show you what it is. It's called Something Hoppy This Way Comes. Probably shouldn't be a big surprise. It's a hoppy beer. Big surprise. Um, it's an Imperial IPA. If everyone could see that. Another thing about this brewery is they usually have really cool labels. Um, so as you can see, it's 10% too. And every Imperial IPA by them that I've had is 10%. Um, they do a line called the Ninja Beers, and it's like Centennial Ninja, Simcoe Ninja. It'll just be whatever hop, and it's like a single hop uh, IPA, or Imperial IPA. And I've had the Centennial and the Simcoe, and they're really, really good. So I'm hoping this will be... Just as good or better, who knows. Um, but one of the great things here, as you can see down here, they put batch numbers. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, they put batch numbers, um, which is really useful for them uh, in this sense that one time I actually got one of their beers that was infected. It was their hyper dog. And as soon as I opened it, it just gushed all over the place, and it was a mess. So I contacted them about it, and that's actually why they sent me this glass to make up for it. So great customer service. Um, but also they asked, you know, what batch number was on the bottle so that they could check and see if other bottles had been infe uh, infected. So great to do the batch and bottle numbers. So good job. All right. I'm ready to get into this. Oh, it's awesome. Love me some Imperial IPAs. So, oh man, it looks very red. Just come, or I'm not red, orange just coming out. Very clear though. If you can see, you know, there's there's not any sediment in there. It's definitely been filtered well. A lot of bubbles coming up from the bottom. Uh, significant head to it too. So there should be some good aromas coming to my nose. Uh, very orangey, orange grapefruit. Mm. It's got a resinous um, scent to it. You know, like the really deep, like hop oil scent. Yeah, it just smells really kind of like sticky and very resinous and citrusy. It's just kind of like a very deep, um, deep flavored orange. You know, not like real light and refreshing type orange, but like maybe an orange that sat around for a little bit. So some of the, um, it sat, sat around cut open for a little bit. So some of the like water has kind of seeped out of it, evaporated out of the actual fruit and it, um, is more of like a concentrated, you know, sweetness to it, more juice. Hmm. Oh man, definitely perceiving some serious uh, alcohol in there. I wouldn't say ten percent. I'd say I I could pin it somewhere around like nine, eight and a half, somewhere in there. So it's covered up kind of well, but you definitely really taste that alcohol as soon as you put it in your mouth. bit of a pininess to it, definitely getting the citrus too, but the pininess is kind of up front, very resiny tasting. It's got a really heavy mouthfeel to it too, so, you know, when I was saying I was smelling, it was like real resiny, it's, it smelled like it would be thick and kind of like sticky, and it is, you know, you almost have to chew it kind of, but I like that in Imperial IPAs. Um, I think I would kind of like the alcohol to be maybe a little bit less, uh, but it's still not bad, but the flavor's pretty good. You know, the pine isn't real crazy if anybody listens to the podcast, Brutal Battle, by the way. Um, they know I'm not huge on IPAs with pine, but uh, when it's done right, I'm okay with it. And this is a beer where the pine is not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's definitely kept in check with, like, those deeper um, citrusy flavors. It's good. Got a little bit of a hay note to it as well, though, so more of like malt kind of showing through than you typically think. But yeah, very resiny, piney, a little bit of citrus to it. Pretty good beer. Um, I'm just going to sip on this. I've got a uh, fantasy hockey draft coming up, so this is going to be my beer of choice for when I'm drafting. Um, see if there's anything interesting that needs to be said on here. Um, it does say that it's 
made with Columbus, Cascade, and Sriracha Ace hops, just so everyone knows. So there you have it. Um, something hoppy, hoppy This Way comes by Pipeworks Brewing Company. Thank you, Pipeworks, for the glass, too. Everybody, thanks for watching.